button on your notification bell. You will still get those information you are looking for. Thank you. Why Lagos markets were closed on Monday? That's according to police reports, Lagos State Police Command. Now, the public relations officer, Lagos State, Benjamin Hundein, has explained why markets have been closed for two days in this state. Talking about Lagos. According to Hyundai, the market association agreed that the shops would remain closed Sunday and Monday. Hyundai was responding to a Twitter user who called them out, saying that in Abu Boki Street off Broad Street in Mandala's market, Lagos Island, they are chasing the Igbos, robbing them and destroying properties. That's what the Twitter user said or wrote. The Twitter user is at Victoria Israel. All right. Now responding to it, Hyundai said, this is fake news. The market association agreed that shops would remain closed. That's Sunday and Monday. He said Igbo traders this morning decided to renege on the agreement and open shops. According to him, some hoodlums took, upon, took it upon themselves to enforce compliance, and the police were alerted. He said the police arrived promptly. The hoodlums fled upon sighting police patrol vans. Not one shop was vandalized. Not one person was robbed. Not one person was injured. No mercy was swiftly returned, and officers remain on ground. That's the statement of police. That's the PPRO. I think so. Yes, like I said earlier on. So, this is um, what is happening in Lagos. The election was conducted on Saturday, and you have seen what has been happening in the country. Chaos. Everywhere. Crisis is about to erupt. That is what is happening now. So in Lagos State, they were attacking Igbo, Igbo businessmen, Igbo traders on Monday. And so a Twitter user called them out, called the police out, said, look at what's happening in Lagos State. They're attacking people who are doing business. And police is defending it, saying the hoodlums, you know, took it upon themselves to implement government policy or government program. How can police, how can hoodlum, you know? If not that they have been given the leverage, if not that in Lagos State there are persons that they have given the you know the authority of the state to act at will. Look at what the M. Choloma was doing during the election day. Okay? You see? So that is people who have taken authorities into their hands, they are doing whatever they like. And nobody is arresting them. The police is keeping quiet because they have been compromised. Someone who stole billions of dollars of Nigeria resources from Lagos State which is the commercial nerve center of the, Niger of, of, of the country. Somebody was there superintendent over the economy of Lagos for almost 30 years and has looted the resources of Nigeria and is using it to cause mayhem, create havoc, to cause anarchy. And that anarchy, when it comes, it will consume them. Not the poor masses. It will consume the rich. They will have no escape route. We have been saying it, the international community. The European Union, United States of America, you see, Canada, Australia, the, the entire EU, the, the Americas, all right, the United Nations, even the African Union and the ECOWAS, you push will be very, you know, be an alert for the something in this country. Profile those people who are destroying this country. This is the heat. All the evil they have been committing is coming to the limelight. All the things, atrocities they have been doing is getting to the peak. We are at its peak. The climax of all the evil they are doing is coming now. So we have said, international community, be at alert. Destroyers are on ground. You see? So people who decided on their own volition, said they will cast votes so so place. They said no. Prior to the charade they conducted on Saturday, 
there have been a manipulation, there have been intimidation, there have been harassment of citizens who are maybe because of their ethnic leanings, maybe because of their religious affiliations. You know, they have been targeted, they have been humiliated, their businesses have been destroyed because of their ethnicity. And that is what we are seeing in this country. And so after the election, it didn't stop. We've seen what's happening on Sunday, that they are there, or rather Monday, as they were being chased and attacked by talks. And they said the talks were implementing government policy. That's to tell you the level, the level of, you know, you know, abracadabra, the level of recklessness the government is orchestrating. Talks implementing government policy because they have been given the, 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 the leeway, they have been allowed to be doing it. That is it. So, what is happening in Lagos across Nigeria is pathetic. And what we are saying is people should remain calm and be meticulous and observe with keen interest because these things we forewarn them. We know that they will happen because this country is not meant to be together. This country is not meant to stay. It's a contraption. Uh, you know, leaders of thoughts have uh, you know said it categorically that this is a mere geographical expression. But some persons refuse to understand it. But it is becoming clearer to men now, particularly that in Thomas's. These things, we have been saying it before now, we have been saying it. What the government, what the people of Nigeria, what the full and oligarchs, what the political elites, what the political, you know, in Edi Abanish, what those people who have held Nigeria down are doing. Yes, so but then Malafia said it. Said they have destroyed the country and they want all of us to stay put together in it. So what they are doing is to loot resources and the are aware. Here is their farmland. They have, you know, Europe and the Americas where they go and stay and relax, of forgetting that those places were being, you know, worked hard to be like that by people who are patriots, who love their people with all their heart, by men and women of goodwill. What we have here is looters. What we have here is political diabanes. What we have here is those who are hell-bent in destroying the democracy, the fundamental human right of individuals, those who accumulate wealth primitively. What we have here is, you know, bigots who are ruling us. What we have here is those who are, you know, jihadists who are ruling us, extremists, fundamentalists who are ruling us. What we have here is, you know, those who have avarice, you know. That is what we have in this country as leaders, as rulers, all right? So what we have here is despotic rulers, autocrat, autocratic uh, rulers. That is what we have in this country. Yes, dictators. Those who thrive in the 